Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I know it's nearly afternoon, but I've just been going slow. I have been up doing stuff. I um, don't know how you can tell. <laughs> I've got some food here on the bench that I've sort of started to organise. I've had my shower. I've packed our clothes. It's by the front door, so I've got to put them in the minivan. And yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am struggling this morning. I'm sort of, but I'm getting there. But I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm going to have that now. <laughs> I wasn't going to bother enough. Well, I've got my oats sitting here, so I'll have them. And then I'll have lunch in a couple of hours. Why is always such a hard job? I think if I didn't have fibre, I'd be fine. But what are you looking at, Keen Eye? Sticks. You can go out the other door, he doesn't even know. What are you looking at? I don't see nothing there. So he's got his eye on something, but I can just see um, some sticks out there. <laughs> Chewy. The other door's open. A bit of a silly bit, aren't you? This door's open, Chewy. Oh no, oh my god. I just realised he can attack. Oh, what is that one? <laughs> one of those um ties. I can't think what they're called. Well, that was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? Wasn't even an exciting lizard. Or not a mad dog lizard. <laughs> yeah, they're not lizards. It's not a lizard bait. <laughs> so funny. I mean, it's probably not funny if they caught a lizard. They scared a few tails off before, haven't you? Being a bad brother. <laughs> I've just been making up the dogs area. That's where they're going to travel and we'll put their seatbelts on them. And can we still got a tidy at the front? I found, I was going to make up a chili dish down there, but I just found this, it was used by August. So <laughs> we'll leave it this weekend. Should still be fine. So yeah, so I'll take out some of stuff and that's a bit easier meal than what I was trying to concoct, but quite similar. So I'll take that inside. That's Kevin's night bag, which I'll put over his side. So the dog stuff to put in. Obviously, our clothes go in there, and I've been sorting out the back. And the dog beds are there. Obviously, our chairs will be out. We're sitting on them. And I've got some extra pillows and stuff. I think it's going to work all right. The dogs not not got a lot of space, but they can spill onto the bottom of our bed. If they need to. <laughs> but these are sort of like things you might want overnight and they just fit in. Down there. So we are going to do a tour for you when we're down there. Well, that's the plan anyway. And um, show you how we have everything set up. But I thought I'd show you this while I can. <laughs> In case I forget to take a photo later on with the doggies there. So this should be. I mean, the dogs are going to be dry today, but takes our quilt cover if needed. Well, we are in the car and on the way. As you can see, the puppets are in. Kevin's just putting in what we're going in the sat nav. We just stopped to get some a very late lunch. <laughs> Got these um, nice no chicken and lettuce sandwiches, which are really good. I had them before. So. <laughs> I don't know how it will be an hour and a half maybe driving.
arrived. Taking the dogs for a little. What is, what's happened, Shoe? Well, you've got yourself all tangled up. I'm not sure what to do with them. I searched them to the seatbelt. But they keep tangling themselves up. Yes, yeah, so we've got a nice little spot here. Met the dog next door. Barked at the dog next door. Oh, he's still tangled, mate. What have you done? Go forward over your. <laughs> there we go. Sneezy, I'm back in a second. Me. You just saw me two seconds ago. I only just walked over there. Who remembers that I couldn't find my shoes? They've been packed up in here <laughs> the whole time. Because I wonder why I put it, he couldn't pack it up properly. There's a pair of shoes in there. I bought these to replace it. Luckily, I didn't get other. Um, luckily, I got different colours. <laughs> well, that's funny. And I was really going to order some of these in black, but I just haven't got around to it yet. That is so funny. Put them on and keep my pink ones for at home. <laughs> I thought I'd left them behind at one of the campgrounds. Probably they're both tangled around now. Anyway, let's leave them there for now. We have a little house set up now, a little. It's a bit too much like camping, we've decided. But anyway, we need it for this weekend with the doggies. And we've got their fence in. So they're happy because they get to be a little bit free and eat some grass. I mean, we know Chewy could jump over if he wanted to, but I don't think he's going to want to. It's a good boy. <laughs> well, we're finally heading out on a, a little walk for him. But they're back on there halters again. <laughs> Camp kitchen, yeah, someone did steal your puppies. So there's a snake, oh no, it sinks up that end. There's more sinks there. Sitting out here having some cups of tea. Kim was kind enough to make it for us. It's very windy out here. But they're kind of nice and protected. It's a bit squishy squashy <laughs> trying to make trying, come on, but I don't know where I trying to make to dinner with the dogs in here. It's just a very squashy, but anyway, we'll get it worked out. Kevin's been kind enough to make Are dinner. Looking for some slop? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have a measuring thing, so I had to guess the water and it's pretty good. Thing. Yeah, it looks alright. Sure it would taste good. Not bad. <laughs> We've already done a lot of cooking in here before. We usually just bring things to heat up, so it's a bit different. But but I'm a bit of a chef. I make yes. up for yeah. You can pack it right pre cooked, <laughs> pre cooked corn things, corn patties, and that was a packet mix. A vegan one. It's supposed to be nice.
Uh, good morning, everyone. Out on a little doggy walk. I am still very much, oh my gosh, half asleep. <laughs> do you want to do this? Half asleep isn't very great. No, we're half asleep. I'm just still in pain. Just woke out of, oh, out of bed. <sighs> so just taking that one in a little toilet. Toilet exploration walk. It was a pretty, um, I kind of slept okay out. It's not a big bed. It's just a double bed. We're used to a king size. So it's very squishy. All right, Coda's good boy, Coda. I'll pick up after him in a second. That's a little campground over there. I'll talk to you a bit later on. Oh, good morning. I might have vlogged earlier, I think. I went on a little walk with the pups, but I didn't film very much. It's Jason. Camping. I think I'm going the greatest with the pups in the van. Kevin hardly slept because Chili ended up sleeping in between us. So, <laughs> decided to spit hard with pups in the minivan. So, I've actually, actually booked an Airbnb place for the next two nights. <laughs> and, yes, yeah, just um, not going as we planned or hoped. That's okay, I think Kevin's gone back to sleep now. I need to go to the bathroom now though, and I need to keep the dogs here. Somehow. We'll be here until probably about 3 o'clock, and we go in and check in at the other place we're going to. This is not quite what we planned. Oh, we didn't know how it was going to go with the doggies, and the only way to find out is to try it. If it was just Coda, it'd probably be fine. But Chewie's just big. <laughs> And just even in, if we're in the inside here where we were last night, it was just chaotic with the two dogs and trying to get dinner and yeah. Now I'm sitting outside again in a little fenced area. Chewie's out here with me. He's just vomited. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a galah. And land up in the tree behind me. And another one. Anyway, yeah, but I think Cole just got back in there. He wants his dad, but he can't get to him. Anyway. So we're about to go to the beach here, Dog Beach, because it's only between before 8 o'clock in the morning, which is too early for me to contemplate, um, or after 4, but we can take them to the other beach at Vincentia, where we went last time. So they'll get to the beach this afternoon. We're not quite sure what our plans are going to be today. It's just, yeah, not worked out as we'd hoped. <laughs> That's okay. I can learn. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I've been and got changed. I haven't showered or anything today. I'll wait. I'll wait till this afternoon in our Airbnb, which is booked and confirmed. <laughs> Definitely the right decision. This is it's um been a quite a stressful time since we arrived. <laughs> Not relaxing at all. I haven't besides reading in bed last night. I haven't read. They're actually pretty good last night. They did settle down once we blocked Coda from seeing out the back window because he kept grumbling. I'm guessing the neighbours were up because he kept grumbling. <laughs> and we we'll get louder and louder. He didn't bark as much, but he was grumbling. So Kevin had to put um, the curtains. Coda has had a look around curtains or look under curtains, so that didn't help. And then we've, we've got a, I don't know what they're called, like a sunshade that we have for the front. Thing, which we haven't used so we put that in the back so that blocked him we couldn't see out there. and then he settled down and then we went to sleep and he slept it down in the back where the dog beds are all night as i said sure was sleeping in between us which I mean kevin said he didn't have enough cool coverage and he was cold during the night i had just enough it's just it's a t for us it's a tiny bed so tossing and turning it's just difficult and then you've got a dog to negotiate and then just even here like not relaxing i feel like i've been just uh, dealing with them the whole time since we've been here really like especially outside even this morning now like i took them for that walk earlier they probably want to go for a longer walk just not physically up to it which is you know i'm saying like both our neighbors here have gone out for the gone out for a while anyway and it's like i'm still in pain and I don't feel up to doing that or feel capable of doing that which is hard like that, that would be ideal than not wear the mountain and they would probably better behaved but you know chronic illness it still comes away with you 
And those of you who have been watching my regular videos know I've been dealing with um, a lot of either a long flare or I don't know what I've been dealing with a lot of pain in the last week and a half. <laughs> So it makes it hard and then Kevin's obviously not that great himself so between the two of us sometimes one of us is capable <laughs> mornings are not my good time so we will definitely take them to the dog beach this afternoon at four o'clock we can check in at three and then at four o'clock the as of the dog beach opens <laughs> you can take the dogs to the beach after four o'clock so we'll do that this afternoon and um it's not so windy today so it should be much more not much nicer down there we probably would have taken them yesterday, but it was so windy. It wasn't any pleasant on the beach. And I was in a lot of pain yesterday afternoon as well. So yeah, fingers crossed this afternoon I'll be good, but we'll get down there anyway. But the place we're staying, to, I don't know how far it's to walk, we'll probably just drive to the dog beach, but that's okay. We've got a mat we can put down in here for them. And if the bed gets all sandy, it's not gonna matter because we're not gonna be sleeping out tonight. We can just clean it all up when we get home. And luckily I've got extra bags and baskets. So getting everything in from the motor, from the van, into the house will be quite fine this is well we, we knew we had to try this we've tried it now and we know that at this stage with the dogs it's a bit challenging maybe that'll change if we just had code it would probably be fine but like they've even had a fight this morning over a treat the two of them code chewy sold coda's treat that he didn't, wasn't interested in and coda had to go at him and didn't bite just the ferociousness Anyway, we have calmed down now and seem to be resting. So much trying to read my book a bit now. I don't know, just it um, has not been a relaxing weekend like we'd hoped. I thought we could just go home and we could try and make it like a weekend away. But you know, when you go home, that doesn't happen. You see all the jobs you've got to do, and you know, you just are going back into normal mode. So that's why we thought we'll get the Airbnb booked. Doggies get their holiday, and um. Yeah, we'll try a weekend away, just the two of us, in a few weeks probably, because you see the dogs are home with Christy. We're just hoping that we could take them so that when we move, we don't always have to get puppy sitters for them for, for a weekend away, like for a longer stay, that yes, you do, but thought that they could come with us, that'd be great, but yeah, not, not in this van. <laughs> it's a bit too small and everything's a bit too squishy and a bit too chaotic, but they are nice and quiet now. So I'm going to take the puppies for a walk. Kim has gone to the toilet, so they're they're trying to find him. It's a beautiful day, so but I am <laughs> I am pleased with my decision that we go and stay somewhere else. Best all round, and I think it's going to be quite busy here too. There's more and more people coming in, so I think um, I think it's going to be quite busy later on. So one of the behind us and beside us. So the dog could be an issue. I, mean, I think it's the best thing. Best thing for our neighbours and for us. Mostly for us. I mean just I just read for you know 15 minutes, half an hour. Sorry, dogs behind gosh, you are tangling me up like anything. <laughs> Move into the shade. So I'm going to use sunscreen on. I would sort of take the doggies for a walk. I think it is mostly shaded. So that's the toilet block and the camp kitchen behind me. And then over this side there's a little gate you can go through. You can see the water through there yep now we're excited because daddy's coming haven't seen him for there you go Chew, you can go oh I haven't seen daddy for, for two minutes <laughs> so exciting to see daddy again oh really oh okay sorry oh, lots of bindies in their face fluff I both walked into I don't know, a bush, it's a decoder. Where were they when they got all the oh, I don't know. I was letting them sniff around. So I just walked into a, a big a plant. Big hatch. Yeah. What is that? Stick. No, on the ground. Is that dog food? Dog food, yeah. <laughs> I didn't eat any of it. There was a tent here. Oh, no, it's not. I know. Yeah. There was a tent here. I'm glad they didn't eat the dog food. It's not their food. <laughs> Oh, the water's all in here now. Looks so much nicer with the water in. These steps are very big steps. <laughs> yeah, 
goodness. Sorry, Coda, mummy's a bit slow. How nice is this now? The dogs can't go here. Beautiful. Okay, we'll walk down near the water. We'll walk down near the water. Pretty with the water, the tide in, isn't it? Oh, nice. Switch to my phone so you guys can see better. It's just very, very pretty with the, the tide was out last night when we were down here. These chewy not supposed to be in the playground, it's not supposed to be on a swing. My goodness. <laughs> you don't know dogs aren't supposed to be in children's playgrounds, don't you? <laughs> it's only a young <laughs> Now he's turned his head, it's a bit better. Just like that, we're all packed up. Didn't take too long to pack up actually, which is good. But I'm sure we are both pleased to be sleeping in a normal place tonight. <laughs> I figure if we need, to, if we're traveling somewhere, even if we had the dogs for one night, we'd be okay. We'd manage. And we wouldn't set up the room perhaps. That just got a bit complicated with the puppies. We could, you know, you're right there. Well, why don't you just put it in the back seat for now? Like over the pillow for now. That's where we're going to be staying almost. Oh, we can even eat out here at the bakery, Kev. 
Well, we'll go down to the water. It'll be nicer, I think. Don't you think? Yeah. There's a good bakery. They had nice stuff here last time. Just driven down to the beach here. We're going to have a picnic over there. Poor Kev's not feeling good. He's going to have his funny turns that he has every so often. Hopefully it doesn't develop. But if it does, he's going to lie down here. So, this one is good to have your own kitchen. <laughs> so, it's going to make salad rolls for us. Give another ham on his. Get that made, then we'll take it over there to eat. Provised lunch. <laughs> so, I couldn't. I promised Kevin a salad sandwich, but that's as much as we could get. Really thick. Look at the crust. I know Kevin the bought rolls. They're so... I don't know, I can't even eat mine. They're so thick. So, I've just got... It's nice. corn fritters on mine. Beat yeah, and that's just, they're just crusty on the outside. That's good. I don't think I'll, the, the top will have to go to the puppies. <laughs> I don't think I'll eat it. I don't think I could squish it and fit it in my mouth. They're very fat rolls. <laughs> Wait till after our lunch. Here, yeah. give them some after. Or they're just gonna just give them a bit of hang out there. No, you're pretty safe from the crocodile. We've had our lunch. Now it's time to head back to our accommodation. What number are we? Four or eight. I have to have a check in a second. I'm on the phone. It's still probably vlogging on the phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, puppies are very good. <laughs> and we're going to come back down just Not up the road here for the dog beach. It's not one of those old fashioned cars that needs keys. Mm -hmm. well, that was nice. Nice to sit in there in the shade. Now we'll go and check. I can't even remember what the place looks like because I looked at so many this morning. So. Hey, it'll surprise, be a surprise for me too, yeah. I have well, no idea, I can't remember at all. If it's either four or eight and you get it wrong, it'll be a surprise for someone else <laughs> too. Tonight's little accommodation. Oh yeah, and now I get what the backyard I get what they meant about the backyard not being private now. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I now understand. Go puppies, go crazy. We're here for the puppies. I thought I think I probably will still sit out here. Yeah, tons of yard. Yeah. They can do all the sniffs. <laughs> Goes up that way as well. Who's the other room gonna be? I We've got a big backyard, huge yard puppies. Yeah, definitely not private. <laughs> I thought it was just like one side that wasn't going to be private. Oh well, we weren't private where we were, were we anyway? Why well, they've got, why have they got the chair sitting looking in, I wonder. It's a bit hard. You guys stay out here while we bring stuff in. Just stay out there while we bring stuff in. Yeah, we'll get you in in a minute. Oh, Hello. fancy seeing you here. I found our bedroom. I thought you'd gone out. I put the other dogs out the back. I'm coming. Which is our room? One of the right. Which one? How do you know? Because I know. Oh, God's got it on all sleeves. <laughs> and I thought you'd want the one with the windows. Mm -hmm. Nice and bright. The other one's got windows too, I think. Yeah, it does that. It's a backyard though, yeah. Right, I'll show you. So there's another room there. And there's room here. Yeah. Yeah. 
and a little tiny, teeny tiny bath kev. Probably the time coming. We'll be with you soon. We've just been sitting outside while the dogs have been running amok around the backyard. Had a good time. Yeah, it's quite a big yard from side to side, so we've been running backwards and forwards. I've just been reading. We were going to take the doggies to the beach, but they were exhausted from running around the backyard. So, and I'm quite sore. My feet are very sore. So, we decided we wouldn't worry. As you can, you can hear him panting anyway. So, <laughs> they've had plenty of exercise here. But we will try to take them tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I finished my book now, so I'm just going to go inside and get a cup of tea since it's five o'clock. The dogs have had their dinner already. So, yeah, we'll just um, have a nice, quiet evening. I'm going to grab my stuff from the van now and have a shower, I think. And then a cup of tea. And, um, yeah, that's it. Quiet evening. Let's we'll see what we. Here's your mom, but the dogs have got a great yard. They were having a lovely time here. I thought, this is why we're here. This is their weekend away, that we promised them. <laughs> and last time we took the one a weekend away, it didn't really work out too well with Coda doing his leg again. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, didn't want to just turn around and go home. Yeah, hopefully I'll feel a bit better tomorrow and we'll um, get to the beach and whatnot. Otherwise, we'll be spending some time out here and I'll do some more reading. Definitely more relaxed here though, isn't it, Kevin? It's not so stressful. I've had a few barking incidents, but because the people next door arrive with three dogs, or well, they're not, it's next door, but you know, you can <laughs> see, <laughs> it's in the fence. <laughs> so it's okay, they've calmed down now. Kevin was giving them timeouts inside when they barked. So it, it seemed to be working. They'll go on longer and longer between barks, won't they? <laughs> so, so I didn't have it in me to do it. Today to get up and down, quite sore. Yeah, I'm sure we'll check in with you again later on tonight. Good morning, everyone. Excuse the shadow on my face from my phone, but I'm facing in the sun and it's quite bright, although it's very nice and warm because it's still pretty early. So sun's actually nice and warming. I've just got a little window between the rooftop and the awning that's above me. Oh, looking place. <laughs> and then I'll have shade again. But I do have some hats in there. I should go grab a hat. But anyway, I just wanted to say good morning. Had a much better night's sleep, a much better start to the day. Just been on my computer inside for a little bit and then well, I've been up for a few hours, I guess. <laughs> Coming outside now, I thought if the dogs do bark, which they've actually been a lot better, it's been too barky. Some neighbour dogs arrived yesterday. I can't remember what I filmed yesterday afternoon. I don't think a lot, but there's some dogs next door. Luckily, they can't easily see the dogs, but they know where they are. They kind of look for them. But I think I've had one wolf out here this morning, but I didn't want to come out too early. And wake everyone up in the neighbourhood. But they're being good. They're loving having this yard. So obviously we're not going to get down to the beach this morning. I thought it's like Mission Impossible, but we will take them for a walk at some stage. We're like only a block or two from the from not the dog beach, but a different beach. I'm hoping the dog can't go on that beach, but I'm hoping there's a path up near it. I'll have to have a look and see if I can find out first before we bother going down there. I'll have to start walking on the road, but I think there I think there's a path pretty much all the way along the, the um, um, foreshores here. We'll do that in this afternoon. We'll try to get down to the beach. Oh, all right. Oh, <laughs> this is very awkward. So, well, um, just want to say good morning, and I'll check back in later on. But, but a good move to come here. Much better for the doggies. They are much happier. I think Coda slept on the bed last night, but he's much smaller than Chewy, so it's not so bad. And Chewy got off when he, he got off on each side. Yeah, he's running out of space. I think when my when I lay down in bed, <laughs> so he went off on the floor, and they were quite they were good. We did leave the collars on though, whenever they shook, the collars made a lot of noise. So I'm actually sure to take the collars off tonight for bed. But they've been really good and I think they are you know, certainly enjoying this yard. Lots of sniffs and lots to explore. <laughs> so yeah, definitely much less stressful and much easier here with the doggies and having room for them. Oh, I'm just having a late breakfast outside with some banana on toast. 
Mm, it's not the nicest view. <laughs> but, you know, there's some trees there. And the puppies have just loved the big yard. <laughs> They're inside with Kevin at the moment. <laughs> They've enjoyed it. Just heading out on a walk with the puppies. I found my hat. I was happy. I didn't think I had it. So it's good. I put sunscreen on the best I can. I just can't do all of my back. And Kev's asleep. <laughs> So I think if we just walk straight ahead, we'll be down. Um, what are we doing? Come on out of there. Yeah, I think we'll just go straight ahead. Yeah, we'll just go for a wander. Yeah. I'm going to wake Kev up and I just thought he didn't really want to come anyway. So we'll just go for our walk. And then if he wants to go to the bakery later on, we can just drive and do that. And we're going to take the doggies to the beach later on very quiet little area here but you can hear the surf so there's a path I think along there that we can walk along for a bit oh, I think they want to go down there oh, doggies so we'll go this way come on let's go with Coda. So far he's known which path to come up and where roughly to cross the road. So now I'm going to see if he knows which house we are. Because we're following Coda Bear aren't we? And you're right we did walk, I don't know why she walked on the road but yep yeah, okay. <laughs> Probably if he knew where to cross the road and which of the paths off the track to come back. He may recognise the car. We will see how smart this little boy really is. She was just you and me. <laughs> Chewy, you keep getting stuck. Come on, move. Make sure you walk fast. Hold your lead loose. Type. It's going to stretch to a stop sign, okay? He knows where it's going. I think. Maybe not. He's not there on the way over. Yeah, he knows where he's going. <laughs> if we ever get lost, we know who to follow. <laughs> what a clever boy. What a clever one. Well, I am definitely a sweaty mess now. <laughs> that was a good walk though. So stunning down there, and it was on a windy day. It's just stunning though. I mean, half of the walk was in the shade, half was in the sun. Oh, 
I was probably red in the face, I think, but anyway. <laughs> That was nice. I enjoyed that. I'm tired now though. We walked for about 40 minutes. So that's not bad. You can see I'm used to walking like yeah, 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, I think Kev's still asleep. I haven't. He wasn't up when I got back. I thought I might have heard from him when we were out, but no. But this is his idea of, of a nice holiday. He's just getting to lie in bed and sleep when he wants to sleep. I know the dog's been going in and out all morning. But anyway, they've got to go check up on Kevin. Right, I'm going to have a drink, cold drink to put a breathing cool down and then work out what we're doing for lunch a bit later on. It is nice still sitting out here, even though it's I've got some trees and we've got some birds and I've got some blue sky, so excuse me. And I've got puppies, that's all I need. And a nice breeze coming through. <laughs> so, this is my view. Besides, you know, the old fibro shed. Quite nice. Got a hot puppa down there. No one's inside. Puppies, where are you going? Now, Mr. Whistle is finally away. So <laughs> we're going out for some lunch. Probably just go to the bakery, I think. Since it is pretty late already. Look, he's alive. Yes. <laughs> he's had a good sleep, he said. <laughs> Another outing for the pups, just in the bakery. Just getting some rolls, we're gonna make our own back at the place. We've just gone into Coles to get a few things for our lunch. Puppies are nice. Spoosh. Puppies are supposed to sit in. Sit. Sit. <laughs> just waiting for the daddy. Sit. Coda, sit. Hey. Sit. What? Boy, daddy's coming back. Don't worry. I'm trying to peer in. <laughs> Your funny voice. Kevin bought me a chicken snitchel to try. He got a variety of different things, but he decided that's what he'd cook for me for lunch, so he's cooked that. And I've just made it onto a, it was quite big, so most of it's on the roll. As you can see there. I haven't tried these snitchel, so hopefully it's nice. Most chicken stuff I can, fake chicken stuff I can tolerate, because I've kind of always eaten that, because it was around, it's always been around. <laughs> Whereas the fake meats weren't really, a, meat wasn't around, so that doesn't appeal to me. Probably a texture thing and taste thing, I guess. Anyway, we'll see what one's like, I guess. This is Kevin's lunch that he's been wanting to have. Because the rolls, I always said you won't get the right kind of roll to make a little, you know, like a soup bowl kind of thing. So I've just got a tin of cream corn in that. Yep. Half a tin. Half a tin. Probably nice with some grated cheese in it. Yeah. But they're more like dip, I guess, than a soup. Yeah, it's nice anyway. Anyway, I hope it's a bit nice. <laughs> I licked the spoon where the cream corn was. I like well, you like that. cream corn. I don't even yeah. know how to eat this. It's got to be a mess. And a, I might as well just had a tin of cream corn and some bread. Toast or something. I know, but you wanted to do yeah, it like I, that. I wanted to do this. <laughs> Didn't we puppies? Now you can experience it and see what it's like. <laughs> We've had like bowls, like cob loaf with soup in it before overseas, but. It's hard to get the right sort of bolt, like roll like that. And when he said to me a few weeks ago, he wanted to do it, I said, well, I don't know where to get that kind of roll from. And then these were perfect because they were hard rolls. On the way to the puppy beach. Yeah, <laughs> 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 You're going to say hello nicely. Good boy. Good boy, Coda. Good boy.
heading to the beach. Because <laughs> we're now having crazy time.
we're not getting takeaway tonight. Oh, they're big, big dishes too, aren't they? They look big. Because yeah. I didn't feel like cooking. I should have done, prepared dinner earlier, but I didn't. We get some bowls. You want to eat out of this? No, I'll get some bowls. Yeah, let's do bowls like proper. <laughs> so we've got to get a tie, wasn't it? Oh, look, I'm a grown-up with a bowl. Okay. Is that on video? Yes, it oh. is on video. Mr. Withnor, with yes. the white teeth. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, we're just about to leave. Have a nice little stay here. We're all packed up. Doggies are in the car. There's doggies in the car. <laughs> Ready to head home. Any guesses where we stopped to get breakfast? <laughs> Kevin wasn't worried. I thought I need some breakfast, so back at the bakery. These guys know how to use it. It's a travelator. We decided we'd bring them for an excursion to but Kevin was going past the Bunnings and Kevin decided he needed something from here. We well, think they've got something. What I want, but we'll see. We decided to make a little outing for the puppies. It's Not really training. Yeah, it's a big Bunnings. Oh, you go on, turn around, coach. Turn around. Oh boy, no pulling. Hey. Oh, nice. Come to Kevin's Dream Isle. <laughs> but he's got something, but that's not what we came for, apparently. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Oh, Paul. That was silly, too. They were united. We were ready for our family FaceTime. But it's only Kevin and I here. How and was Coach your Chewy. week, Nibby? <laughs> what plans do you have for the next week, Nibby? I don't know. Hello, Four Eyes. <laughs> God, Kevin. Yes. I don't normally see people. 